So, um, Leonard, one of the things I talk about mm. with each dealer is how they got involved in collecting and then eventually becoming a dealer. Well, my collecting goes back probably to when I was maybe 12 or 13. I actually had a collection of rifles. I no longer own any guns, but I had got a beautiful shotgun with engraving on it and then someplace upstate New York, I don't remember where, and I thought it was beautiful, so. so I started collecting wood blocks because they were relatively inexpensive when I was going to college from Associated American Artists. And in tutoring, uh, I was tutoring a, a, a young friend's child and she was an antique dealer and she was also like many antique dealers uh, didn't have a lot of money around she used to pay me and let me pick something off the shelves and I started picking things that were mostly Japanese during that time I also uh, started dealing in um, Japanese art and antiquities and from that I've moved into modern paintings and occasionally modern furniture and, and some sculpture as well so that's been my journey I guess the two most exciting things that I have at the moment are um, I have a, put together a, a monograph and I'm working on a book on Sidney Gross, who was an abstract expressionist painter who was extremely well known during the 50s, 40s and 50s, and, and I find him very exciting. So that's one. And the other is a, a, a kind of artist that I collected for a while because I can remember my mother had known her and she, when I was growing up, there were paintings by her. And her name is Helen Westheller, and she's primarily known as a very fine printmaker. She was also a WPA artist, uh -huh. and um, her ma she had a number of commissions, subway, subway mosaics and that kind of thing. And they, they're interesting also because they're fresco, which is not something you, in the 20th century, you find many artists doing. <laughs> Collectors come from two areas. They either come from a knowledge of what they you know, the, the area that they've studied or the art that they've studied and, and then they begin to collect it. Or they're kind of impulsive like I am and I buy something and then I say I've got to find out what this is.